Good morning, Bitcoins. This is Mad Bitcoin, still live at the Coin Congress Convention in San Francisco. We're joined by Daniel from Zapchain. How's it going, Daniel? It's going great. We're here at uh, Coin Congress, and I'm having a great time. So, what do you guys do over at Zapchain? So, we are a community. Uh, so, we started with Bitcoin, and we sort of moved it to emerging tech, and we allow each other to tip Bitcoin. Uh, so, the the entire community is is incentivized to use the site uh, with small. Bitcoin microtransactions. And mainly people use it to ask questions? So we started as a Q&A site, that's true, and we've sort of expanded recently into content. Actually, if, if, if any of you out there have used Zapchain in the past, you should check it out now because we just launched a new uh, UI, so it's very content focused. What we're doing now is we have a program where we pay people small amounts of Bitcoin to contribute content. It's sort of a beta thing, but um, we're, we're working with really interesting content creators uh, so that they can get paid small amounts of Bitcoin. That sounds very cool. How's it going so far? Do you have a lot of people signing up? Yeah, I think in the past month and a half, we've had about 200 articles that have been published, and we've got some really great content creators. Well, what we're really doing is we're working really closely with these content creators um, so that, you know, I've, I've created a lot of content in the past with, with Coindesk and some other things that I've done. So I'm sort of mentoring some of these people on how to make great headlines, how to write really killer copy, how to use images and all this fun stuff. And so we'd love to invite more people to the platform and, and, and get them using it. So as an alternative to some of the other Bitcoin news websites that we really don't know anything about, people could go write for Zapchain and actually get paid for their articles? Yeah, it's actually an automated system that we've built. Our CTO, Adam McKenna, he's uh, the founder of Multipool, and he's built a system so that every page view, um, our writers get 20 bits. So that's actually 550 CPM. So if you know anything about advertising, uh, that means basically every... 1,000 impressions that an article gets is about 550. Um, so that's 20, 20 bits per page view. Uh, we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to disrupt the advertising model as it exists today with, with Bitcoin. And about how much does an author make for each article, just on average? Well, we've just started this, so we don't have a lot of data. We're actually building a dashboard right now, uh, so and we're going to call it the Zapchain Money-Making Dashboard, so that all writers can see, sort of like go, uh, Google Analytics, so they can see how much they're making. Uh, we have all the data. We just haven't had a lot of time to parse through it, uh, but we're definitely going to let all the writers see everything that's going on in terms of page views. We're tracking all that right now. That sounds great. I think transparency is very important when you're dealing with anyone that's working for you, and especially writers these days. I totally agree. I, like I said, I've been a content creator professionally since 2008. Uh, I started a tech site in 2009 that I ran for a while. And I think that just advertising on the internet is not enough for content creators. You'll notice that like a lot of content creators on the internet today, they have to do other things other than just creating content. They can be thought leaders, but they also have to provide services, they have to consult with companies, they have to sell shirts. They have to install Windows XP over and over and over again. Exactly. So I think that what we're doing is, some, is compelling and that uh, we really want to have content creators not just in Bitcoin but in all other areas of, of technology. What we really want to be is like the largest technology community on the internet and that's sort of an ambitious goal but that's where we've decided to sort of head. And where can people learn more about Zapchain? Uh, just go to zapchain.com. Uh, and and uh, log in and, and check it out. Very cool, Daniel. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you.